I thought I would give you guys another instructor tutorial showing you maybe some more complex shapes that you could have made with your puzzle pieces. All right, I think most of you did a pretty good job. Uh, I'm doing this uh, Saturday night, so I'm seeing just simple squares and circles and stuff like that. So what if you wanted to do more complex shapes? In Photoshop, we have a tool called the Custom Shape Tool. U is the keyboard shortcut. And when you get into the Custom Shape Tool, we have all these shapes that we could possibly work with. Um, and we can load those as selections. So, well, here's a puzzle piece. So let's say we wanted to use this puzzle piece. We can come up here to this little drop down and we'll say we don't want to do a path. Most of you have played with the shape tool where when you click and drag it will draw out a shape and fill it with a color. You see that shape. Well, we can also draw a path, a path or we can also draw pixels and fill that in as a new layer. I'm going to work on paths and I'll just click and drag and put that in position where I want it and we know that when we draw paths it saves it over in our path panel and all we have to do to load that is to go over into our path panel and just command click the little thumbnail and now I have this selection of a puzzle piece All right. So I will go ahead and uh, command J. And there we see we have a puzzle piece. Okay. So we could go through here and just, you know, create some of these fun shapes. We have, have an arrow here that we could work with. So I'm just going to draw some of these shapes in here and then I'll load that shape and then we could um, add to that if we wanted to so if we wanted to you know take a section out of it or add to it we certainly could so we could start off with those once again start off working with a primitive shape and then add to it This puzzle is going to be complicated just because it's a little bit abstract to begin with. So I'm just going to put a little drop shadow underneath that so I can kind of see what's going on. Okay, I don't like that drop shadow. There we go. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Use the keyboard shortcut. And I think I'll do this shape here. And we can even combine these shapes if we want to. So let's say I wanted to add to that a path. I can do that by holding down shift. And I'll load it as a selection. Hit command J. What else can we do up here? Anybody see anything they want to use? How about a rabbit?
And then we would do the same way that you guys worked. You would have to um, load selections and uh, load selections, load layers and stuff. So I'm going to just make a rectangular marquee here. I'll drag that up above here a little bit. Okay. And then now I want to subtract that rabbit. So I'll hold down Command and Option. You'll see my little icon turn to a minus. I'll subtract that and I'll make that a shape. And now I'll drag out another rectangle and now I'm going to have to command option the rabbit command option the shape we just built and command option my first arrow and there's my next shape all right I think you get the gist of it. Well, let's do one more up here on the puzzle. So if we wanted to create, oops, create another part of this puzzle, let's see, we'll drag it and drop it right there. And then I need to subtract my puzzle. So command Option, Command J, and I don't know how you go about naming these puzzle pieces. You just have to kind of look at these, look at the actual pieces in here. I can kind of tell what I've done. I kind of know where they're at. And generally, you're going to just be subtracting multiple pieces. If you ever want to come down or make make your well, I've got all um, my got my icons as big as they'll go. I was gonna say you can um, change the panel options and change the size of your little thumbnails, but I actually had them as large as they were gonna go. So, we can, however, come in here into panel options and say layer um, layer bounds instead of showing the entire document. Uh, here, you know, we're seeing the, the background and everything. If we choose this layer bounds, it will just pull this thumbnail icon right around the actual shape that we have. So if I say OK, now we can kind of see our um, layers a little better and kind of know what's on those layers. OK. So now we're not seeing the entire document. It's just closing in real tight to that selection. All right, I hope this helps. Maybe a little too late, but that's the part of learning. I kind of wanted to see what you guys would do if anybody came up with some really complicated shapes. Um, still, There's still hope. It's only Saturday night. so. All right, well, thank you for all your hard work on the uh, puzzle. Uh, most of you got the right dimensions, and I uh, saw on some of them, you, uh, most of you had the correct guides and everything so uh, I'm encouraged by uh, what you guys are turning in so I will see you on the next video thanks